Oh, 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 from our mutual choppiness we are not at home we've we been are... kicked out of our apartments by our yes women. this is uh we're just it's the little caesar's puss rain is about yeah. to begin it's about to go off it's it's about to go the fuck off it's about to pop I, off but first eddie's got some business in montana i got some business in st louis and then oh oh is it happening is, there's a sushi place right next to me should i even bother Sushi in Missouri. Would you do it? Ooh. I don't think I should do it. Mm. I don't I don't know. I'm, mm. I'm 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 already nervous if there's eating Mexican food in Missouri. No offense to Missourians. But I mean, it's, sushi. Hmm. Sushi. Hey, guess what there's not? What? Anything healthy. <laughs> it is It is St. Louis, so. Yeah, not not a fucking thing healthy. Which is fine. It's it's life. It happens. But by the way, this is Eddie Ramble Radio 352. 352. 352. You think it's just you and I for this? Of right? course. Of course. Well, yeah, it is. It's still, oh, uh, I mean, yeah. Murdoch stepping down. Right. It, you know, there's the a lot going, going on. House is going on recess. because House is going on. McCarthy's complaining that people of Cody's ilk are trying to burn it down. Like he somehow didn't already know, but like McCarthy just didn't already know that. Like he didn't already realize it's, this was. It's funny happening. when you vote in people that don't want government to function, then you end up getting the government not to function. It's like, funny how that works. It. I just don't get it. It's fucking weird. It's oh man. And then you but, get mad at them when they do what you told, what you voted them in to do is right. to make government not right. function. Exactly, exactly. So Good it's chance. just uh, it's fucking they're fucking idiots. So, and here we are, though. And so Cody, got, he's got those fires to put out. Let him do. Well, let, let all right Let's, Cody do all what right all Cody. right Cody does. That's his game. That's his game. He's you a pig did? in shit right now. He really is. A pig in shit. <laughs> Just loving life. <laughs> so, this mm-hmm. is Thursday. Yes. Technically. Now, you're listening to this on Friday. Yes, but in reality, and I have a monumental news. I beat the vampire bosses in Illusion of Gaia tonight on my stream, my my retro roaches stream. Eddie, I've been trying to beat these fucking things for four fucking nights. They were creamy, wow. me, and I just I was like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna make it happen." It was one of those Good moments for you. Good it for was, you. I I was like. Because you know what I was th- can I tell you can I tell you exactly what happened? I'm trying to do this as quietly as possible yeah. since we are in yeah, a, yeah. a hotel. Um I look, it was um let me get this microphone stand kind of out of the frame. It's there. It's like the it's like the boom mic and dolomite. See this is just uh, you're not getting rid of it. <laughs> it's um, there. It's there. So I was ready. You know what I told myself? What? I'll beat him tomorrow. And guess whose voice I heard? In my head, Who's? Who's? Apollo Creed's That's right. saying, there, there is, is no tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> and then, so I thought, well, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to beat him now. I'm yeah. going to be, fuck this. And I beat him. You looked him, right at those it. vampires like, my men were in the chopper. My men were on the chopper when it got hit. And fucking <laughs> went all in. I had to. I had to. My God. It's just, what else am I going to do? It's, you know, I mean... Trayvon Diggs, you know, you know what I mean. It's I've already t- I've already suffered one loss today. I'm not going to suffer two. No, I, I can't that, take yeah. two. I'm not going to take ship two. Around. I'm not going to take two on the chin. I'm not taking two, especially not from some fucking vampires. I'm not taking two on the fucking chin. So what exactly happened to Trayvon Diggs? It was in practice. He tore his ACL. Clean tear of the ACL, most okay. likely out for the season. Good news is it's clean. So yeah. he's expected to make a full recovery. Um, all right, you ready? You ready to get yeah. annoyed? You ready to get? Okay. I'm just gutted for the guy because now he's not going to get to play and win a Super Bowl with his teammates. Oh, who said it? Me. We're still going all the way. <laughs> <laughs> now it will be interesting to see. Yeah. How this affects the Cowboys' pass rush? It's it's going to be 
huge. Because it's it's going to cost Parsons is going to miss like you know you know a guy like Diggs gave him that extra point five or one second to in hit him. Yeah, to get after now, the quarterback. Here was the one thing that was sold to the Dallas Cowboy fan before okay. the year was that they're going to be very deep in the secondary. Okay. Well, now's your time to fucking prove it, huh? I mean, this is well. Here you go. Show I mean, us you, then. If you were so deep, would you have beat? Wouldn't he have beaten Diggs out if that guy behind him was just as good? as Was him? just as good. You or think better? Beat him, right? But I, I mean, will he's say not, he's that a one of his for a reason. one of his replacements did get a pick six in the first game, Deron Bland. So okay. I'll take that. I'll take it for what it is. But again, and. I know people were kind of thinking, like, why would the Cowboys go after Gilmore? He's old. This is why they went after Gilmore in the offseason. Yeah. Uh, they, they, that, that, now you just got to hope, hope that Gilmore holds stays up healthy. Year. Right. Stays it's healthy. just. And doesn't but have just sort of like his age doesn't catch up with him. Right. And let that happen next season. <laughs> it's, you know, like. But, yeah. yeah so, um, that, and there we go. And that's. I'm telling you, it's uh, we'll see what happens. But man, it was, um, God, it was, uh, mm. it, it was, a, it's been a good. It was a. You know, you had a flight like a motherfucker. I had a. I thought I had a rough one because I go from Orange County, John Wayne Airport. Yeah, and then I go to, uh, where was I? Phoenix. Okay. Here's what bad. was weird about that. He, the only thing with me was there was a there was a stall of fame ready to hit and i was like dude this motherfucker's gonna hit so, and i don't know what's happened i kind of feel like i'm letting the stall of fame down because it so i thought i'm gonna have to blow one soon like this is sure. bad. like this sure. is fucking bad and, and then i thought man if i blow it up on the plane could you imagine if i blew up the plane you know on the three-hour flight from <laughs> phoenix to st louis like I'm gonna be that. You know, I mean, like that's an interstate. Interstate. Well, we're we're, we're over it. We're over Texas when I'm starting, and you know, so, and then I had to go. I couldn't hold it, so I was like, I literally, thank God, it was like a kind of empty flight. Yeah. Because I was just gonna apologize. Like I'm so sorry to everybody, but it was like a normal drop. It was like it wasn't even yeah. a. It wasn't, it wasn't even half a Borg nine. It was just yeah. normal. That's and I was like, am I? I know. And and then, like, to, it's been normal. And I'm like, am I getting back to normal? Is this ostomy reversal? They said it would take two years. But now I'm like, am I? Motherfucker. Well, it's I been might, about a year, right? It's or been a year, been? And a, a year and a few months. Okay. They said it might take about two years. So I have no idea. But I was disappointed in myself. That I didn't blow it up like I could have. Well, you know what you gotta do? You gotta get back into the into the gym. You gotta get back into the kitchen. Gotta get back in that training room. Watch you gotta, tape. You gotta go for them gains. <laughs> you gotta get up, you gotta you gotta load up on the cheeses. <laughs> you gotta load up on the breads. Just get them going. Some you know, heavy creams. <laughs> and then now, dude. Yeah. There was a woman, two women at the Phoenix airport that were holding up signs walking around the food court area of the yeah, terminal. Okay, okay so with, annoying, two, two annoying people, right? It gets worse. Oh, good. Okay. They they're, they're signs, uh -huh. they're QR codes with their faces on the center of each QR code. Okay. 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 So... Is your curiosity peaked at all? Would your curiosity have been peaked at all had you been a fellow traveler at this moment? Would you've been like okay, probably? I probably would have. I probably would have uh, snapped a photo just to see. I got close, and the thing said, "Looking for a husband." That's what it said. It said, "Looking wow. for a husband" on both of them, and, and I scanned it court, of an like airport. <laughs> Yes, like at an girls. airport. At an airport. Looking at the Phoenix. I didn't know I don't know if that was like where to get dick in twenty twenty three is the Phoenix Airport. If that's a known thing. If the Phoenix well, Airport is just where if that's where you go to sling sling it at the Phoenix slinging it at the Phoenix I Airport. I guess you got a little bit of cashola if you're uh, if you're flying. You got a little if bit you're of You're flying, a little bit of, flying, of, little bit of that yeah. you got it. And 
it, it, so and then I had to scan the QR. Andrea was like, "Scan it! I want to know." Like she couldn't win, and so I'm thinking I'm gonna get some fucking mail order spam shit all over my. Yeah, it was just their Instagram pages. It was like really sad. They weren't even trying to scam anybody. For it was like, whoa, oh, uh, this is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Jesus my God. Christ! G- mm. I fuck. Ah, uh, whoo. Ooh. That's a, mm. that's a hard one, man. That's mm. a t- but you had you didn't experience any of this on your flight. No, I I, I flew. I left L, uh, Burbank Airport at eight thirty p.m. Oh, last night. Yeah, yeah. On Wednesday night, landed yeah. in Seattle at ten thirty p.m. Oh. Two hour flight, not bad. Not too but then bad. I had a eight and a half hour layover. Oh, in Seattle. God, that's just horrific! Eight and a half hours. Horrific. That's a shift. That's a shift. That's it's overtime. You should have gotten horrific. overtime for that. Eight and a half fucking hours. Did you and get to sleep at all? The, well, it was a completely empty gate. Yeah. So I kind of like, I kind of at one point laid on the ground and right. put my backpack right. as a pillow and I kind of laid. I, I might have dozed off for like an hour. Right. But right. like there was, an, there was one other guy in the gate with me who was literally, he had like, he, he laid out like, he sit on the chair and he laid out uh-huh. like, a sandwich and a bag of chips, and he had okay. like his drink. A little romantic he, he, picnic. He was inviting. Yeah, he, he made like a little picnic for himself on all the seats, and then he had his suitcase up, and he set his little phone up on the suitcase right, and started right. watching Pirates of the Caribbean without earphones. Oh, this motherfucker! And it's just me and him in the gate at like three in the morning, and he's eating, and you hear fucking Jack Sparrow. The balls, the absolute dare. Dare I say the gumption on this man? Who the you, I mean, that? Who the fuck? You look over and go, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." Let me get my headphones on. He might as well just walked yeah. up to you lying down. Go, hey man, where are you headed? Oh, my name's Ralph. I mean, <laughs> he might as well just made small talk. Oh, I'm sorry, I farted. Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping? Hey, I smell weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you help me push a hammer? Do you mind following me to the bathroom and help me push a hemorrhoid back in? Like, I have a hemorrhoid sticking out. If I bend over and pull I can't pull sit down spread, with it out like this. Do you mind if I... You can just push it back in for me. Yeah, Holy. Just, he's like, just, you, just both thumbs and just push. <laughs> <laughs> just get him back in there. Get him back in there. Like, who the fuck does that? The balls. The fucking balls. Who... Who watches a motherfucker, man? You do that oh. shit at home. You don't bring that to the fucking airport. It's already well, annoying enough headphones. that he's fucking. You know he had him. He had to have. He had to have had him. Yeah, because he's going to be on the plane. He's going to have yes. headphones. He just chose not to wear them. Wow, wow, that's mm. oh mm. mm. god. People, these people, these, these people. fucking people, these fucking oh. people. <sighs> well, okay, I'm ready to say something. Say it. We got to say remember it. How, remember say how it. I thought Ahsoka might be trending in the right direction? Yeah. I am going to say that episode six, is that the most recent one? Was yes, it six? episode six. Is yes. my favorite Ahsoka episode yet. I thought it was the best one. Wow. I thought it reminded me of the first time I saw Star Wars in a great way. I thought that's what I took what were, away from what, that. What were the what were the things that hit you and that, that made you feel that way? Just I don't. It was the we, as stupid as the little turtle hobbits guy were. It yeah. was the, the weird shit like that. Like it was they actually intro they actually introduced a weird original new alien yeah. that was you know what I mean. Like I just thought oh that's there's something like the the rapport that Sabine had with the giant fucking dog that she was riding. You know yeah. like. And then Balin. That seemed was, almost very. I almost had like very never-ending story. Yeah, like it, it felt really very... did. Fantasy and and then Balin. Uh, the Balin stuff, of course, has just been Balin, absolutely man. tremendous. The 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 uh, the Ezra scene was really good. Uh, Thrawn and you already right off the bat. One thing I liked was they hit the ground running with Thrawn. Like he yeah. just walks out already. They didn't tease it. Like nope. And and the minute he walks out, he's a force to be reckoned with. You can't. You're not gonna fuck with this. He's already like, oh shit. I I really liked that. I loved Enoch or whatever his guy with the the gold face yeah. and his stormtrooper helmet. I loved all that shit. Um, 
The only I'm... oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, finish what you're saying. The only gripe was they're in a different fucking galaxy, but everything looks the same. <laughs> and the fucking Raider guys had the same outfits and weapons. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Give me something a little different. I like the turtle guys with the suits. The Beatrix yeah. Potter turtle dudes. I'm down Let's with this. Let's have some bad guy turtles, too. Let's do something different here. That was the only thing. Give me bad guy turtles. Well, it's interesting because the whole thing... I mean, yeah, the, the you know the fucking scavengers or whatever. That's just like right. typical, like throw away bad guys in Star Wars right. or whatever. Right. It's just, but it's interesting. Like, I'm wondering if, because Thrawn says about the, the the Night Witch wants to send out more troops, and she, he says at one point, uh, our numbers have dwindled. Yeah. So is Ezra out there killing these guys every time Fucking they go out? Because if you look at Ezra's, else. have you seen that still of Ezra's chest where he's got like. A hundred dog tags on his chest, right? So are that is that all the the troopers is that he he's taking? Is he some psycho who's cutting off their ears? <laughs> he's taking tro yeah. Right. Is he taking trophies? <laughs> or and are the, the 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 existing night troopers that they, he has are those more like Maruk and they are like are they like right. from a necromancer spell but from the night sisters? I'm gonna give you my theory. You ready for my wild ass theory? Yes, give me it. Because what is what does Thrawn tell the night sisters? I may need your magic once again, or whatever he yeah. said. Ezra killed him. I'm calling it. Ezra killed him and thought, I've I've done my job. I've saved our galaxy. This guy's fucking gone. I'll mop up whatever he whatever else is out there trying to get. He probably has no idea that they brought Thrawn back from the So dead. he thinks Thrawn's dead. Ezra thinks Thrawn's right. dead. Right. I bet he did. Because there was no urgency to him, really. When he, he well, yeah, sees he Sabine... Build- he He's wasn't so like, relaxed. oh, God, you're here. We got to get the fuck out of here. Like, it was just. Yeah, he's just like waiting, like, all right, let's go home. I think he fucking killed him. And I think those Night Sisters brought him back to life. And I think that's what he's, you know, I think that uh, that's just my little theory. Ezra killed Thrawn. And that's why Ezra's kind of lax. And he just thinks these dudes he's killing are just like splinter groups trying to get payback or whatever for yeah. Thrawn. And he's like, what the fuck y'all going to do? And. Yeah, so that's because Thrawn isn't Thrawn has never been portrayed as like, oh, I'm gonna get you back. He's just like, okay, no, he's he's always calculating. He cal- right, he's like, always okay. he never loses his cool. He killed me. All right, fine. Well, it didn't really work because I already had Plan B, which is if I die, the Night Sisters bring me back, and now I'm just gonna go fucking wipe this guy out my way. Like it's so, mm. I'm. I'm, you know, and I think I hope not, but I think we're gonna get the Balin face turn soon because you see that Thrawn is manipulating him as well, or does, or at least doesn't give a shit about him. Like I'll kill this motherfucker. Yeah, too. but we also know that Balin is sort of using Thrawn for his the because Thrawn wants Balin wanted to get to that planet. It looked right. Like. Here's the bad news for Balin though: ain't nobody using Thrawn without Thrawn knowing they're trying to use. No. Him. Yeah. That's the bad news for Balin, and I think that's why we're going to – because Balin's first hint should have been, okay, he's going to let us chase her. Wait, why is he giving us the same two dogs he gave her? Why does <laughs> – you know there's speeder bikes on this fucking Star Destroyer. Right. Why is we he giving us – We can't have a couple the, guys. We, you're giving us the dogs? Like, wait a minute. That would have been first clue. Oh, this guy might not give a shit about what we're well, doing. Also, why does Balin – why don't they just – why is Balin even chasing them? Like, what, right. what does he want? He wants something right. that's out right. there. Right. It's not Thrawn. Because he got Thrawn. They could just... His, he stated to Sabine he wanted, or earlier in the series that he wanted Thrawn back to start the war. But right. now that he's there, he's after something on that planet. Something's giving him a, a different... Yeah. It's... I don't know, man. We're going to see. So I, it's, it's going to be interesting. Now, does the... <laughs> that's, we've already talked about this, but... Does this win you over or does this lose you if they continue with things we've talked about? And what Balin is looking for is the Schwartz in this other no, universe. No, again, what, like we said you, a couple episodes ago. when we're, They're just when building worlds, on what Spaceballs did. They're just expanding Space World balls and, flapping <laughs> and lapping it into Star Wars. So if he goes he and be, finds yogurt, if he finds yogurt. And the Schwartz. And the Schwartz. How bad if it's just Filoni playing yogurt and he's just on his knees like Mel Gibson trying to do the same thing. It's so stupid. Dink, dink. Dink, 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 dink.
<laughs> yeah, power greater just, than the force. The I, Schwartz. Right? The Schwartz. <laughs> That's what he's going to find. And would rest in peace, the guy who plays him, would he, Ray, was Stevens. Ray, Ray Stevens, Ray Stevens, would he, would he be the all time greatest actor to pull that line off? Like, if he does it, then it's all his bailiness. He doesn't yeah. drop, he never lets you know it's a comedy. Yep. And he's like, This is what I'm looking well, for. You have a, you have a close up on, on his Padawan. You have a close up on his Padawan, and she's like, What are you looking for? And a close up to him, a power greater than the force. And then you swoop the camera around, and it's the giant statue of yogurt. And he, says, and he goes, and then it comes back to him. He's like the Schwartz. <laughs> That's how we're out of episode seven. Holy! <laughs> sh- how is episode eight not the most must see thing in the history of anything? How is that not? How is it not? I don't care if it's my how do you wait my seven kid's days birthday, my wife's anniversary. I'm not going. I'm watching this wait. instead. No, you can't wait seven days. For no, that. no, 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 that's impossible. Balin was looking for the Schwartz this whole time. The Schwartz, <laughs> a power greater than the Force. Oh, fuck the Schwartz! The Schwartz. <laughs> and oh, you just see the giant statue of yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm all in if that's the case, man. Dude. Well, look as as good of a ram. Will you will you then put Ahsoka above Andor? If it's all, you, oh my miles elevated. Uh, are you, Ahsoka's above the Godfather? Right? Out of your fucking mind, Ahsoka is better than the Godfather. If this happens, I put Ahsoka over Goodfellas. If this is what happens right now, <laughs> can you imagine fucking Filoni going in and trying to pitch that to Kathleen Kennedy? That looks look, what we're gonna do. Sit down. I got it. I got Balin. it. We introduce Balin, and he's trying to find the shore. Oh, oh, fuck. I'm all in. I'm all in it. Oh, God. Or is it, what if it's, does it lose you if Balin's like, they're in some ancient temple, him and his pat, like they abandoned the search for Ezra. Like That's sure. not why we're here. Sure. No. He's like, let's fuck him. We're going to use Thrawn's dogs, and we're going to go find. And he finds a temple, and he opens it, and it's just Cameron's dad's car from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And you just hear the, oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And then just a slow motion shot of them coming over a hill in the car. <laughs> Freeze frame it. And you're out. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> yeah. And Balin's like... Yeah, he's got the, oh, the faces. <laughs> like they're guys. having the time of their lives. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, that would... Wow. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Well, Eddie, this was a hell of a ramble. I I thought this was a great ramble radio. I did too. I did I too. I mean, now it's but you know what? We've already done it, so it's kind of out of our hands. It's up to uh, you know who it's up to. Uh, these um, fucking these, these fucking, fucking people to people. rate it, subscribe to it. All yeah. that whatever. No, it's, we did our part. What Fine. else could we can, we can only do our part. We can, and I thought we've done it excellently, but also here's I the other too. bad news. There's contractual. Oh, boy. Um, uh, Skeletor. Um, we were just making a couple of uh, predictions for yeah. the show, Ahsoka. Yeah. Um, yeah. um, kind of, I think, in our way, sort of raising our hopes. And I, I don't oh. see how we're not going to be let down now, no matter what happens. Ex- after what we've predicted. Whether it's the Schwartz or... Uh, the car, or, or, or the car from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Cameron's dad's car from Ferris. Bueller's if it's Day not one of those two things, it's going yeah. to be uh, a let. It's going to be disappointing. It's going to be yeah. a little bit of a letdown. Have you ever had your hopes up so high that yeah. no matter what happened, how good mm-hmm. it was, it was still a letdown? 
Eddie, that's a wonderful question, and I'm glad that you've asked me. It's Big S After Dark, baby, here in the, uh, the Big S Tub, you know, how we do things, huh? <laughs> you know, and, uh, yeah, that's very, very easy. Um, Beastman uh, promised me that he was clean and ready to go, so I did butt stuff with him for the first time I'd ever done butt stuff. And I was very disappointed because he was not as clean as he said. There's a lot of, you know, you, you think you and I have dingleberries, huh? <laughs> How about that guy? Eh? Oh, fur, <laughs> you know? And so a lot of butt stuff. So that, that was, uh, I had to cleanse myself. I had to stick my tongue and my cock in, in, a, in a special creek, kind of like the river sticks in your mythology. It's a creek down here in Eternia where you just stick your cock in and you stick your tongue in. If you've put it in someplace nasty, and it helps cleanse it. And it's it's in a hidden valley. It's in a hidden forest. And I'm the only one who knows where it is. Because uh, it's about, uh, I don't know, three clicks east. Uh, once you get inside of He-Man's mother's pussy. <laughs> you get it. Her pussy's so big. Yeah. That bitch. But I still, I mean, I still enjoyed all the shit that was in Beastman's, you know, fur. I mean, I just, I was just expecting it to be clean. So I, so I don't even know if I was disappointed. I, I honestly, I think I might've flubbed that one, Eddie, because I had a great time still. Okay. Right. Um, Jesus Christ, this guy. Cinesnob Cody. Cinesnob um, Cody, please. Get, the Cinesnob pod. Get him on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. You know, I, I, uh, speaking of movies, I sent that idea. That I pitched that. That what the, the little snafu between uh, Beastman and I for one of the what, what are the, the Olsen twins? Is that what they're called? And what yeah. are theirs? What are their like? What are their cute movies for the for like the twelve year olds? I thought well, this mm -hmm. would be perfect. They nothing. Still haven't. If you could put a word in, if you know them. I don't right. know them. I don't Christ. know them. Oh, um, boy. Okay. Um, uh, me, uh, uh, Eddie, me where five can days find a week, you, please. Five days a week, patreon.com, the Ralph Report, uh, Tuesdays, Fridays, yeah. Ramble Radio, Wednesdays, yeah. Ramble Proper. That's us. Yeah. You can find you. me in the same, yeah. always same places you can find Eddie and Cody. I'm also streaming uh, Retro Rocha on Kick and Twitch and just my YouTube channel, my name. Uh, most nights, unless I'm, and if I'm on the and if and I'm on the road, well, heck, then it'll be later. Uh, the only time I won't stream is if it's most weekdays, and if and if I'm doing a show in L.A. because then that's a motherfucker. You yeah, know, I don't get home until like fucking. Midnight. It's only, you're only human. You're only. Human. I'm only human. What can we? Come on, come on. Stop. Well, there we breaking go. balls. Stop, everybody. It. Have a great weekend. Next week, uh, we're gonna be back in our mm -hmm. homes. We will. We might even have, we might even have Cody. We might even have Cody. So there we go. Enjoy it. Thank you so much for listening to those women at the Phoenix airport. I, I think I found a husband for you. He likes watching Pirates of the Caribbean at three in the morning with, at no, headphones. Airport with no headphones on. That's your guy. All right. Stay safe. We love you guys. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.